the candy apples is something that my kids say they love eating so I'm going to show you a very simple recipe that you can use. I normally like using Granny Smith apples because I like the tartness that you get from that along with the sweetness of the candy glaze that goes on the apple and makes it taste really good but today we're going to use the Washington apple. So over here we have a pot of water that is currently boiling with the apples you want to remove the wax from off of it normally when it goes to the store the, the apple is going to contain a wax covering on that the reason for that is because it's going to do um, it's going to preserve your apple so that way whenever you go to purchase it from the store then it, it will still be in a fresh state but whenever you get the apples that's even if you're not even making candy apples you always want to clean your apples to remove that glaze because well the wax because the wax is not healthy for us to consume so to start removing the wax we're going to use two tablespoons of baking soda so we're going to just throw that in there just like that we're going to use two tablespoons and then we're also going to use a tablespoon of vinegar and I'm just going to throw another tablespoon of vinegar in there so two tablespoons I'm going to go ahead and remove my heat from that eye and I'm going to throw my apples in there and right now I think I have a total of about 10 or so apples so I'm going to go ahead and throw those apples in there so that way it can go ahead and start the process of removing that wax and you want to kind of remove them really fast because they're going to start removing really, really quick. So I'm just going to get a spoon here so that way I can take my apples out. But I'm just going to stir them around just a little bit so that way it can coat everything here. And like I said, get that wax properly removed from off of that apple. So I'm going to go ahead and start the process of removing the apples from the water. Because they should now be properly cleaned now. And you guys will probably notice my kids in the background. They're going to be my little assistants today. Like I said, candy apples are their favorite. So it's something that you can do not only just by yourself, but you can invite your kids in with it. So these are the apples after the cleansing state. So we're going to move it to this table over here because now at this point, we want to go ahead and remove so right now what we're doing is we're removing the water from off of the apples so that way we can get them to a dry state. And you can tell the difference of once the wax has been taken off of the apples. Normally the apples have a shiny glaze but these are a little bit dull so now the wax has been properly removed. gonna let my, my son finish cleaning off the rest of that. Now what I'm going to do now is get our candy mixture to that together. So we're gonna move this pot over to this eye now. I'm gonna turn this eye on. I'm just gonna put it at a low setting because I want to add my sugar first. So we have two cups of just regular granulated sugar going to go ahead and pour that into the pot. We have three-fourths of a cup of water. going to pour that in. And then we also have a half a cup of light corn syrup. I'm going to put that into the pot and you're just going to try to get as much of it out as possible. Doesn't have to be precise but just try to get as much out as possible. Now I do have a candy thermometer. I purchased this from off Amazon.com. You could probably also purchase it at Walmart or Michaels but it's just a standardized candy thermometer. I'm going to go ahead and place 
that into it so that way once we go ahead and start loading um, putting the heat on it then it'll start cooking the, sh the mixture down I also have a Americolor bright white I'm going to put a few drops of this into that so we're going to put one two three four drops of the white Americolor in there and I'm just going to try to stir just a little bit in there because I want my candy apples to have a mirror glaze to it. So I'm going to start stirring just a little bit of this stuff together. And our objective today is to cook this sugar mixture to a hard crack. And most thermometers, they're going to tell you what the hard crack is. That's normally at 300 degrees Fahrenheit. So I'm going to go ahead and crank this heat up on it. So I can go ahead and start cooking our mixture down. And then we're going to add some different colors into there as well. So we're going to leave you guys momentarily so that way our mixture can begin its boiling state. And we'll be right back. The camera will start working more. Now normally I would use some form of flavor, but I'm not going to use that today because... I'm just making them for the kids, but if I was making it for a client, then I would do um, a flavor and then I would use the oils for that. So I'm going to move this over to here. I'm going to do a marble effect. We've already gone in and stuck the sticks in the candy apples, so... And normally this recipe will probably give me a ratio of about maybe six one? or eight candy apples. I'm going to try to pull out as quickly as possible. These are Washington apples that we use, so they're not Granny Smith. I would rather prefer Granny Smith because I like the taste of the Granny Smith apples, but these are regular Washington apples. Gonna let those cool down. We have one more. I'm gonna let him help me with this one, but 